You are going to hurt. You are going to be mad. But you're going to let it overtake you with revenge and curse them out, jump along and beat them up and stuff with revenge. Amen. But I say to you, love your world. I'm going to love your enemies. Love your enemies. It hurt. Amen. I didn't write the Bible, I didn't read it. Just tell you what the Bible said, amen? Because it's for me, it's for all of us, for everybody. We have to learn how to love our enemy. And sometimes I make you mad, you'll, you'll talk a different way, a hateful way. I'm coming. But you won't. No coming no more. Hang up on Oh. Amen. And then some of your whole words of people call me, you don't even pick up no more. <laughs> what you call me for? What you done to me? Amen. Amen. What you call me for? You, don't forget how you dog when y'all have to get And see, God said we love him. We try to do right. But he said we walk around with unforgiving in us. We walk around, don't want to forgive people, don't want to love the enemies. Don't want to love the people that did us wrong. You got to get the lifestyle. As you came up in life, you have to get some people wrong. We all have sin in each other. We all have to get people wrong. Amen. But now you're supposed to be an example. You said you saved. So the people in the world revenge you. They do revenge you. They come on, they fight against people, shoot against people, and curse people out. So you're supposed to be a different. Where's your different than that? You're supposed to walk in the light of God. You want to have the love of God on the inside of you. Once you get saved, that evil spirit got crucified. He delivered you. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless them that will curse you. Oh, this is kind of hard right now. Love the people that put witchcraft on you. Love the people that set you up. Love the people that did you wrong. Love the people that robbed you. Love the people that stole from you. It's deep. Ride with somebody still your mind, you gotta speak to them and love them. You wanna go off on them, you wanna jump on them. Amen. But God is washing us this morning. I said us. God is purging us. God is cleansing us. Because when you go through trial, the tribulation, you know, on the test, it brings on frustration, it brings on stress. And your words might not come out right. Can I get an amen this morning? You stressed out. Because you're in a test. And you can't believe all this stuff happened to you. You can't believe stuff happened to you back to back. And if you know what I've been through last week, I was celebrating one day. But I ain't going now. After the mother day. We have to be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. This is where you got to be equipped for ministry. Because when the pains and the suffering and all the stuff come at you, you still want to have people go forward. When you want to sit down and cry and have a pity party, you go, Talk! Then be equipped. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that will hate you. You will always have people hate you. You will always have people not like you, not receive you. That's why everybody's not going to like you. Everybody's not going to receive you. Everybody's going to care for you. You look at your lifestyle. Look at all the people you've been with. They, you're real. You're deal with all the people. They don't stab you. They don't betray you. They don't want against you. They don't hurt you. All while you're the cut butters at your little high school church peoples. And the people you part of the club with. Well, the cut buttons that used to be with all your little groups of people, come they gone because you got hurt. You got deceived. Amen. Amen. And God said, love them anyway. He's the love that hate you. He said, pray for them which will despise and use you. I'm not allowed to use you. Oh, let me still that for a minute. Somebody use you, get everybody they want, then they turn on you. Somebody use you up, then you go through, they ain't got nothing for you. Ask you how you're doing, and you do the thing, you know, bless them and help them out. And then your time to go through where ain't nobody getting a happy hand. He's another one that inspires you. People are going to use you. People are going to use you. 
people gonna pimp you. They're gonna betray you. They're gonna beat you out of anything they can. Then they're gonna go to the next person and like you were nothing. Oh, God, might you be somebody that still will betray you? Oh, God, might you be somebody that still will bite you? They still will bite you. They still will come get you. Okay, yo, me and my friend been down 10 years. Okay, it's kind of. Amen. That's where you all get apart and all crying and hurt now and discouraged because you're going through the past, what took place last year, five years, ten years. You're still looking, you're still looking at that divorce. You're still looking at that relationship. You're still looking at baby daddy. You still in them relationships. You came out and you got hurt, and you uh, come on now. You got most self esteem. Everybody ain't ready for a relationship. Everybody ain't ready to be one on one. Everybody ain't ready to be faithful. So you had to get somebody gonna be faithful. They be faithful. They need to come out with you. Amen. If you want to be number two, number three, get yourself out of faith. Why settle for less when you can be the best? Wow. 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 Yeah, that's 
Because they want that check, and God never gave them the help to get there. He don't woke them up to get there. He don't give them the job. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, tight. Tight. And just right. Yes, sir. Amen. No. <laughs> amen. Somebody say, amen. Amen. Somebody say, amen. 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 And it says here, verse 6 and 14, God said, he forgive you. Work. Now, you all, all the time you sin, you ask God to forgive you. Some of you got a wrong list of sin. Some of you got a shock list. So you want God to forgive you for your sin when you mess up. Then when people do stuff to you, you don't forgive them. You got to love people that need to hear Down syndrome. When they come against you, they, you know they come as a spirit. You want to love that spirit. You want to love them. Don't talk bad. Don't go off on them. Love them. Until they get where you at. You fighting a demon. You fighting a spirit that's speaking out of them. You wasting your time. You got to be cast out. Oh, somebody can cut up today. <laughs> you gonna be so big up, don't think about it. Amen. Amen. See, you, then when, you, when, the, when people frustrate you, oh my God, that's the really frustration. It could be your mom, it could be your dad, your children, your son, your mom, your child, frustrating you on your job. Just frustrate me. Tell you. Why don't you tell me? Frustrated. Yeah. Y'all frustrated and mad. Yeah. Making your day go bad. Oh, yeah. some what somebody did and said. Yeah. Oh no, I gotta be happy. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do no all, I can't do no fussing. I can't do it no more. I can't. I can't do it no more. I can't. I can't do it. Amen. Yes, Jesus. I can't do no all and no fussing. I can't do it. Too much frustration. Too much. Stress. I know you got children in you. Go off on them and curse pop, but you can do it a little better. <laughs> <laughs> curse them and holler at them and call them mad. You can do it a little better. Girl, you're going to take that. Children will frustrate you because yeah. they And this is what they call children. <laughs> Anointing, and then they make you mad. 
uh, the Bible says in the book of Matthew, don't be a uh, young thing. They didn't say that. Yeah. Amen. So we, we, we can be on pimp, but we still need some deliverance. Yeah. We still need a lot of help on the inside of us. Yeah. Everybody going through something on today. Everybody got a test. Everybody ain't on test. I don't care who you are, you are in a test. You're dealing with some issues. Because you're going to always go through something you're going to have to pray. So you're going to have to what? The Bible says you're going to be persecuted for his name's sake, right? You're going to be persecuted. You're going to be persecuted by your family and law because you carry a deliverance. You're the one that you know, you know, raised up in the family to pray, to bring that husband in, to bring that wife in, to bring them children in, them grandchildren. You're the one that's going to take all the hits and the blow and then you're going to aim at you because you sacrifice praying for the whole family, praying for the mistake, praying to bring them in. Because I can tell that man on this one. So I'm taking the blows for the family and for people. Taking the blows. You see, you go down to the hall, I'm praying for them and they ain't coming against me. The devil tell them against you, I don't want you to pray for. Come on, get out some revelation. We just want you to understand. That if you pray for your daughter, then the devil will tell them against you. You pray for your son, the devil will tell them against you. You pray for people, then the devil will tell them against you. Now he wants you to stop praying. This is when you're going to have some power to love your enemy. Help me. 
I'm jacked up and messed up. Help me. Amen. Wonder my mind everywhere. Can't find. Amen. 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 Someone's everywhere. He called Jacob. He said, Jacob. He called him by his name. 
Like that song said, he know my name. He called him, you know, you want to come and call you by your name. Come on. How do you feel about calling you on the night and calling you by your name? You don't feel good. And he said, what? On the line, here I am. And see, that's what God trying to reach you. On the line, here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. God trying to get you in a place where here I am. And see, when God, when you say here I am, you don't know what you're going to go through. You don't know what you got to deal with. You don't know what's going to come your way. But God have already equipped you. Because he says, Luke 10, 19, he says, I have already given you the power to throw it over serpents and scope it over all the power of them. He have already put the power in you, but you don't use it. You just, uh, it's called when stuff happens, you just, you, 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 you're going to cry. Or you're going to get mad. Or you're going to call everybody to play. And still he already gave you the power to conquer that test. Somebody say, feed me. I'm home. I'm home. They go to hand. Whatever test you go through, you're already equipped for it. And when you're going through tests, and fear will rip your spirit. Because you don't know what you got to go through, how you're going to come out. And if fear you rip your spirit, you do when you're going through, especially with your health, you're getting bad and put out your health, fear will rip your spirit. The devil can tell you you're going to die, but you're going to live and not die. Amen. Just because you got a bad report, who reports you to leave? You should believe the report of the law. As long as I should live and not die. You got to put the word on the devil. Put the word on your body. Speak life to your body. Speak restoration power. You got to call your body to come forth like Jesus called a little to come forth. You got to call your body to come forth. Somebody said, This body, you ready to come forth. And I should live and not die. He said, Here I am. And see, when God call you for ministry, call you to do work, you got to say, here I am. He's going to equip you for your tests, and you got to pay a price. You got to go through. Amen. Amen. The that ain't easy. You got to pay a price to get power to get on. You got to be equipped. You got to know how to stand, know how to take some stuff. You got to know how to take some blows. You got to know how to walk by faith and know God's going to do it. You got to speak your body some here by his stripes. You got to speak to yourself. Me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. My own house is going to be saved. You got to speak that into existence. This youth, this youth generation that is real bad. They shoot each other up. Everybody want to carry what's going on. Everybody want to fight. Everybody want to rob stealing. Take a car. It's, it's, we in Paris trying. It's bad life right now. You got to pray over your children. Pray over your grandchildren. Pray over your marriage. Pray over your mom and dad. You got to bind them all the of your assignments. You got to bind them. They're going to put you in the middle of a shootout. Amen. It's praying time. You have to pray. Amen. Every time I get in my car, I'm finna pray. About an accident, about a shootout, about the assignments of the enemy. Don't wait till stuff happen to pray. That's the problem. People wait till it happen now. No, we need to pray for it till it won't happen. Keep going to praise right now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He said, Here I am. Hold on, here I am. Somebody said, God. Here I am. Tim, here we are today. Here I am. I'm ready to do what you call me to do. God called the women forth. God called the men to go forth. You got to say, God, here I am. But we can be so stuck on our own problem and God already don't fix it. You worry about stuff God already don't fix. Worry about stuff God already don't work out. You know, but somebody do this one say, it already worked out. You just want to say, why are you trying to figure all this stuff out? God already done worked it out. You need to be praying for God. Whatever, whatever it takes you to say, God, I thank you for the victory. I know you're going to bring me out. You got to get, amen. You got to give God the glory. God, I thank you for my healing. Thank you for my blessing. Thank you for saving my children. Thank you for bringing me out of this head. God, I know you're going to work it out. You're going to deal with the people. You're going to deal with my enemy. You are what you speak. What you speak. He said, here I am. Somebody say, here I am. I'm ready to have visions and, and dreams and visitation from God. Verse 3 says, And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down to Egypt, for I will make thee of a great nation. So God tell him, Jacob to fear not. He's going to make up a great nation. For every man, God going to make a great nation for you. 
for every woman to go out and make a great nation for you. And I hear God saying, fear not. Fear not, God said, I got a great nation ahead of you. For every woman, God got a great nation for you. For every man, God got a great nation for you. And God is saying today, fear not. Because tests are coming, the enemy is coming to distract you, to take your focus. So you're going to pray, so you're going to fast, so you're going to tithe, so you're going to pay your offer. You're trying to take it off the God, the one that's going to help you. You're trying to take your focus. And I hear God say, stay focused on this morning. Stay focused, keep praying. Keep fasting, keep believing me, keep walking by faith, stay focused. Because you're in the pit, but I'm going to bring you out. Amen. You're in trouble, but I'm going to bring you out. He said, You're dealing with some issues, but I'm going to bring you out. Is anything too hard for God? Somebody says, Anything too hard for God? Anything too hard for God? Everybody's dealing with something. There was a, a sign attached, putting people in the middle of a shootout, robbers and thieves, taking cars. Amen? Amen. They attack on your health, on your life. Amen. Amen. And I hear God say, you gotta go for you gotta go for yourself. Amen. 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 You got no strength for yourself. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta help yourself. You have to you have to like David, encourage your own self. Amen. You're gonna be waiting on people, they they stressed out. Amen. They frustrated, they deal with it. You waiting on somebody to know you gotta go for yourself, encourage yourself. You gotta make your own self happy. You gotta love your own self. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So you got to encourage your own self in the Lord. Somebody say in the Lord. Amen. So God said, I'm going to let our death, I will make a, a great nation. God will make a great nation. Somebody say great nation. Verse 5, 4, 7. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father and their little ones and their wives in the wagon which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. Okay, let's start. Go to verse 4. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thy eyes. So now, that's a word for somebody today. He said, I will go down. With thee. I'm making the same for me. You feel like you're going down, but God said, I'm going down. With thee. You're not going down by yourself. You're not going to be sick by yourself. You're not going to be hurt by yourself. You're not going to be left for dead by yourself. You're not going to go through by yourself. I'm going down. Going with you. You're not alone, boss. I'm with you. I'm going with you. Whatever you're in the test, boss, I'm with you. Whatever you're going through, I'm with you on today. I'm with you with your health problem. I'm with you with your marriage problem. I'm with you with your family problem. I'm with you with the problem that you got. He says, I'm with you today. He said, I'm going to go down with thee into well, Egypt. He said, Jake, I'm going with you. You're checking the day, boss, I'm going with you. I'm going with you, I'm going with you, I'm going with you. You're not in the tent by yourself, you're not alone, I'm going with you. Yes. I am with thee, said the Lord, I'm going with thee. He said, and I will also surely bring thee up. Oh, where we going?
let it go. Don't keep me, don't be frustrated. Don't keep being tormented and unhappy over something in vain. Something you can't fix. Go forward, say God. I hear God say go forward. Genesis, Genesis chapter 50, chapter 50, verse 15, brother. And Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead. They said, Joseph was peradventure hate us, and will certainly requit us of the evil which we did unto him. Joseph's dad is dead. So the brothers is saying that Joseph is going to hate them now. Joseph said, my brother is going to hate me now because I sold him out in the pigs. I sold him out for slavery. Can you write an amen? amen? Joseph, brother sold him out for slavery. Just because he had a dream. They were jealous of the northern land. Like they were jealous of the gifts. When you give them, people are going to be jealous. People are going to come against it. You're going to have somebody going to snatch on it. Some people are going to get with you and grab it. Then fall down on it. Then you're going to have some people come against it. Amen. So Joseph brought them, Joseph and Joseph brought them to throw him in the pigs. And they sold him out to a slavery. So now they saying Joseph is going to do evil against him because the dead are gone. Come on. When well, you do wrong, you remember the wrong stuff you done. You don't forget the wrong stuff you done. Then they forgot how they sold their brother off into a pig and sold him off to a bill slave. They're supposed to kill them, but they didn't. And they sold him off. So now they said, Daddy, dad, now Joseph's going to get revenge toward us. Amen. He's the governor. He's the king over Egypt now. He didn't want to feed the hungry. He done came a, a bigger now. He over Egypt. He over the food. And see, now God brought the brother back to him when he had to feed them. God said, I make your enemy, yo. The only way that happens is if you leave it alone. If you fix it, God will do that. If you leave it alone, that God will, God will make your enemy, your footstool. He'll put them in a place where they're going to meet you. Amen? Amen. So they're saying that Joseph's going to get rid of They say Joseph's going to get what? Revenge, revenge will get them, right? Amen. So say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. And, and it says that, I'm going to lie, he's going to hate us. Joseph will prevail and hate us. I'm going to lie, hate us. They said Joseph is going to hate them because they sold him off. They picked But they don't know Joseph already delivered. He already delivered. 16 said. <coughs> I'm sorry, yeah. verse 12. Okay. Go to verse 19 and 20. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am in the place of God. Stop right there. He told his brother, them. they scared now, they think Joseph going to have something done to them, but they saw him out. What Joseph said, Fear not. I'm in the place of God. I got my deliverance. Yeah. I'm doing the work God taught me. I'm doing the way God wanted to die. I'm in the place of God. Yeah. Come on. He said, Fear not. I'm not going to have you killed. I'm not going to turn revenge on you. I'm not going to stop feeding you. He said, fear not. But they fear not. But they said, oh, uh, Joseph's going to get us. He owe us now. He made the brother the twist of because Joseph over them now. Right? And so now, he said, fear not. He helping his enemies. He helping the people that come against him. He says what? Fear not. Right? He said, fear not, for I am under like in the place of God. And see, that's what God wants you at. God wants you to build a place with him. Not deal with all this pressure, all these enemies, and what they've done to you, how they've done it. You can speak out, you can say something about it, about it, and all that. You don't talk about it, but you don't want to carry it on for months. That's what I mean. Yeah, you don't talk about it. Tell somebody, whoa, but this is what happened. This is me. You're going to understand that. I'm talking about you don't want to carry it on for three or four months. Amen. You don't want to linger it. Amen. Amen. So he's up in the place of God now. Fear not. I'm not going to harm you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to have you killed. He said, fear not. Somebody said, fear not. Yeah. And verse 20 says, But as for you, you thought evil against you, but God meant it unto good, and to bring it to pass, as it is this day, 
to save much people alive. Okay, now to Jonah said, What you meant for evil? Come on, talk to me this morning. So when the people go in and when people come against you, who else said, What they meant for evil? God will turn it that way around and make it good. So say good. good. What the devil meant for evil. So everything the devil doing to you now. Forgive your enemies. Love your enemies. Bless your enemies. He said, what the devil meant for evil to hurt you, to, to come against you, to steal from you, to walk from you, to hurt you, or to curse you out, whatever they build in for evil. God said, I'm going to turn that thing around and make it good. God said, I'm going to deal with all your enemies today because you want them. You've been betrayed, you've been hurt, you've been left for dead. And God said, today I'm going to deal with your enemies. Amen. I'm on the verse, let's go to Genesis 20 and uh, 15 and 20. I'm going to read this on count of three. Verse 20. One, two, three. Okay, now God used Joseph. He told Pharaoh his dream, right? How to save the crops, how to save the food, right? So God did it, made him head over Egypt. And so what happened was that when his brother them sold him off, God promoted him. He made him head on Egypt. So why the enemy, you your enemy pushing you? That's a word for somebody. Your enemy really pushing you. Because I'm going to walk over what you're doing to me. I'm going to come at what you're doing to me. I see you there, Lord. And I'm not going to play with you because I don't have time to play with you. I'm trying to get some power. I'm trying to get some anointing. I'm trying to get some real stuff. I see you. Come on. I see how you're doing, baby. Come on. I see you. I see you, devil. But I don't have time to play with the devil. Come on, somebody. Because I'm trying to grow in the power, grow in the anointing. Amen. So when the devil did for Joseph, Joseph came with a ruler over Egypt. He came with a king. He was a ruler. He didn't want to fed the hungry. Come on, somebody. Amen. He didn't want to fed the people in Egypt. His same brother that throw him in the pits had to go for him for food. Amen. What well, this one? Amen. They had to go get fed by him, the same person that you tried to kill, the same person that you sold off. So the same people that came against you, walk you out your blessing, don't look down on me and put you down. God says, what the enemy meant for evil, yeah. I'm going to turn around and make it good. And see, when people are doing you wrong, it always looks like they're in front of you. Yeah. And I wouldn't like they're getting bad. You say, oh, God, way back in their way, everybody always tell me that they have to eat again. Well, we're we'll talking to you this morning. They can keep quiet and keep quiet, keep doing dirty work to you, and nothing happen. But God, the word is for you today. God says, what the enemy meant for evil, he's going to turn and make it good for you on today. Give up the praise, amen. And see that man, that, that push him. That push him into prosperity. Amen. He come, come here, elevated king over Egypt. Governor over Egypt, he was the man that took Gary Tell about what to do and what not to do. He was over. So if he wouldn't have went in that pit, he wouldn't have got rich. Amen. Oh my God. So what I'm going this morning. You got to go in the pits and get rich sometimes. You got to get hurt and get rich sometimes. You got to get down down and put down and lie down and put down the person to get rich sometimes. Come on. His persecution. Come on. But he forgave him. He forgave him for his life. I don't have time to play with you. I'm rich now. I'm still going to feed you. You did me wrong. I'm still going to bless you. You did me wrong. And God going to get you in a place to, to love your enemy, to bless your enemy. Because God said, I'm going to make your enemy your footstool. Give God the praise. Amen. God going to make your enemy your what? Your footstool. God going to make your enemy your what? Footstool. Let God handle your problem. Let God handle your business. Come on, give God the praise. Amen. Come on, say, the enemy. God told my sheep, oh, God told Moses that the enemy that you see today, you won't see no more. Come on, give God the praise of mine. The enemy that you see today, you won't see no more. Come on, give deal with your enemy. You ain't got to go talk to them no more. You ain't got to call them on the phone no more. Because I'm coming to your rescue. I'm getting ready to work some things out. I'm getting ready to work it out for you today. When the enemy meant for evil, I'm going to turn that thing around and make it good. Everybody step into your feet. Everybody stand. Thank you. 
see? You got people in high places working against your mind and your health, your life. Don't want to get do this, won't do that. You got stuff tired of all in this in the airway in the spirit realm. Someone say spirit realm. You got stuff tired of all in the spirit realm. All in the spirit realm. But uh, we're gonna turn around. Cause I gotta sometimes I gotta turn this thing around. I gotta turn this thing around. Today is your day for breakthrough. Today is your day. Go out, get ready, go deal with your enemy. Today is your day. It's time for you to go up. You've been down long enough. You've been broken, hurt, and disgusted, and painful long enough. It's time for you to live. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to come out of each of that shop. We are shop.
Today is your day. Today is your day. 